So hello and welcome to Heart to Heart with Toppers. Today we have UGC Net Topper Vartika Tholia, who has emerged victorious in an examination with uh, close to thirty thousand aspirants trying their luck. So congratulations, first of all, for an amazing achievement. Thank you so much. So, uh, must be a sigh of relief. You have cracked both JRF as well as UGC. Yeah, it is indeed. Honestly, I did not when I was appearing. I did not, you know, think that I would be able to crack both uh, in an attempt. And this was my first attempt only. So yeah, I'm really happy that I'm able to crack both. That makes it even more special. Yeah. <laughs> were you always inclined towards being a professor so basically i always you know i did my masters in economics my bachelors in economics so during that course i used to enjoy the subject like it was never something that somebody else is asking me to do it so i enjoyed the subject uh, when we were in college i used to teach people around me so i knew okay if i have you know uh, something that i can help people with make them things explain so let's not try for it so nothing okay. that i aimed you know long back but just in the course of the time i planned to appear for it okay okay and and how many months do you think is enough to prepare it from scratch well i think the stronger the concepts are the easier for us like people do have kind of misconception you know that these many months are sufficient or something like that but i think it boils down to how strong your concepts are if you are strong enough in your schooling your bachelors and masters then i think uh, a month or a two month if you because you have a hold of the subject already but if you lack if you are not you know clear with your concepts then no matter how hard you try you will you know miss out on the some of the uh, things and you might clear net but then jrf would be a tough call and despite all the ups and downs you have kept yourself motivated so how do you think uh, worked for you so i have like honestly i am not you know someone who is afraid of examinations as such i understand that you know people are, have this fear but i think for me the thing that kept me motivated was i was confident in my concepts i knew okay if something is coming which even i have not even you know heard of i can apply my concepts there so that kept me motivated ki okay you can at least try don't leave this question just because you haven't you know heard about it what because throughout all the examinations that i have appeared you know for the masters entrance or be it net the thing that boils down to is they just try to check your basic concepts if you are there then you can definitely you know you always have an edge so that was the thing that i always kept with me uh, even while appearing for this exam so uh, i think definitely uh, that is the case and since you have qualified both jrf as well as ugc net i would like to know uh, the strategy for both the papers <laughs> paper 1 <laughs> as well as paper 2 okay so i think the differentiating factor between jrf and net is the paper 1 because you we all focus more on paper 2 okay this is the code that we will be focusing on so we keep on practicing paper 2 a lot but we keep behind the paper 1 so what i did was i kind of you know tried to balance them both out i was like okay i know economics i have been studying it since my school then my masters then my you know in my graduation but paper 1 is something which is new to me i know some kind of an aptitude but not you know say teaching aptitude or research aptitude so i tried to balance them out and i think that was the key factor that helped me clear both okay and uh, can you let us know about the sources okay so i had enrolled for this eco holics uh, holics course so the teachers and the faculties were was always there they provided with the course material and then apart from that the main thing that i focused was to solve the past year paper because they tell us you know what the pattern has been what are the things that you need to focus on okay if this one topic is difficult to me what other topic is wherein i can cover it up for my weaknesses so that was my strategy throughout so i focused mainly on the course content and the past year papers okay and definitely if you are somebody who reads a newspaper because i remember a few questions were there 
from the you know general awareness so that is something that cannot be taught by anyone so if we keep ourselves updated i think that will definitely help you in you know having that edge over one two questions that can be a game changer yeah okay okay and uh, what if we ask you vartika one day before the examination what <laughs> she would be doing as i told you, you know i'm not a one who is very nervous i don't believe in last minute preparations you know okay so this is my exam i have to every at the last moment i have to go through everything i'm not that person i make my plan accordingly say before a week i keep a target okay by this day my these many past year papers should be completed these are the mm-hmm. since you are already doing a past year paper you know which topics to focus on so then i you know kind of give a weightage okay if i have a limited time which topic should i focus more on so before one day exam i think i'm most relaxed because i believe if we are more relaxed we are able to put in a better front in the examination so i keep my basics strong i revise the important topics and i don't you know last minute i'm awake till night trying to study everything in a minute or so i'm not a one who has ever believed in that so i'm pretty relaxed before and during my exam <laughs> okay 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 uh and what if we ask you one thing that you like most about the course of ecoholics which you subscribe i think that everybody was available uh, wherever you have a query if you have any questions during the class they were always you know happy to welcome your questions mm-hmm. because under unless we don't have clarity uh, we can't uh, you know understand or have a grasp of the topic so they were always there to help us out wherever we are stuck to whichever material we asked for it was available for us okay thank you so much vartika it was thank a pleasure you. hosting you all the best for all your future endeavors thank you so much thank you